Miley. Yes, Dad. Are you sure your mom is inside? Yes, she is. Probably studying her makeup or something. Make makeup for what? It's just three of us in this meeting. Why is she doing makeup? Dad, you know mom. She likes to look her burst all the time. I think you should just let her be. Miley, I'm gonna go. Your mom cannot waste my time. I have things to do. Really? William. Gosh. Really? I see. So spending time with your daughter is now a waste of time? This is one of the reasons I divorced you. Impatient. <laughs> Miss Lash, I divorced you, oh. not the other way around. But if I didn't sign the papers, we would still be married. If I didn't divorce you, there would be no papers to sign. And if I didn't... Dad, Mom! I thought this PC was about my new school. Hey, what? New school? Well, yes, that's Dad. why I called you. So you don't say I didn't inform you. Miley, what's wrong with your old school? Nothing, I just wanted a new environment. Miley, you know you can talk to me if anybody's bullying you, right? Oh, please! William, what you should be talking about now is how much the new school fees is, so you can get it sorted. <laughs> Typical. Why did I expect the attitude to be different? Hmm? Still saying. Stinks. That's part of the reasons why we're not together. And it's the reason why you're sad and lonely and you don't have a man. Mom! Dad, are you alright? I'm fine, Daddy. I'm sure. Mm -hmm. Just uh, text me the address of your new school. I'll be there on Monday. <gasps> Please. Mom, why? Shut up. Look at you. Like father, like daughter. Rubbish. My son, you are back. Yes, ma'am. William. With this look on your face, it's like the meeting didn't go well at all. Um, Tracy is getting on my last nerve. On my very last nerve. Old news. <laughs> Was that not why you divorced her in the first place? Where's my granddaughter? That's not even the point. Do you know this girl had the guts to slap me? What? She slapped you? What has come over her? No, just tell me. Don't tell me to calm down. I will not calm down for Tracy. What God does she have to slap you? Sit down, mommy. That girl has bad character. Huh? That girl is crazy. In fact, I don't even know where you, you met somebody like her. It's love, man. What did you say? Love, love, love is blind. Isn't we it? stupid love. We stupid love are you talking about? In fact, I, I made mistake by allowing you to marry that girl. Mommy, focus on the brighter side. At least Miley came out of it. Huh? It's true. At least I have my granddaughter. You know what? Just go and freshen up. Your food is ready. I will set the table for you now. Yes. Ah. Tracy. Just I'm missing my grand. I need to see my granddaughter before. Don't worry, I leave. don't worry. Even if you don't see her now, you see her another time. Don't worry. Ah. See her another time. Don't let your food get cold. Hi, Mom. So, are you done with your dinner? Yep. Good. 
Why didn't you join me? Well, I'm not hungry. Oh. Mom. Yes, sugar. Can I ask you a question? Sure. Mom, why are you always fighting with Dad? Well, that's because your dad always gets on my nerves. But Mom, I was there. He didn't say anything bad to you. I didn't say anything either. Mom, you slapped him. Miley, you don't understand. Your dad gets me angry and he doesn't listen to me. Well, what if it's that because you don't listen to him too? Miley? Yes, mom? Are you taking your dad's side? No, mom. But I don't just want you both to keep fighting. Please. Listen. We are ex-couples, okay? And fighting is inevitable. Okay, at least don't slap him again. Okay. I'm so sorry. Huh? And I'm sorry you had to see that. Okay, Mom. One more question. Oh. Why did Daddy call you lonely? Or are you lonely? God forbid. Don't say that. Come here. Come here. Mommy is not lonely, okay? Okay, Mom. Mommy has you. Alright, and we're fine together. Mommy can never be lonely. So, babes, tell me something. Did he agree to come for the meeting? Of course, why won't he? Really? Of course, he came here. And I sent him back with a slap. Huh? Yeah. You slapped him? Yes. He said some hurtful things to me. He called me bitter and lonely. Can you imagine? Babe, come on. But slapping him was too much if you ask me. But wait. Did he slap you back? What kind of question is that? Huh? Listen. William will never lay his hand on me. Never. It's just that, girl, what hurt me the most was that he called me a lonely woman. Do I look lonely? If you ask me, I would say maybe you are a bit lonely. But look at it. You live in this big house. Just with your kid. What do you think? Well, that's because I do not need any man. <sighs> Babes, but that's the point. He probably thinks you are lonely because you're still single. He's not serious. Listen, I can get any man of my choice with a snap of my fingers and you know that's true. You know he won't believe that. Babes, see, you know how these men think. They believe that once you become a baby mama, it's very hard for you to find love and genuine relationship. And that's why he feels you are lonely. It's not his fault. I think you're right. Babes, I think William thinks you're passing aggression of being lonely to him. Mm -hmm. That's why he called you lonely and bitter. Okay. I know what to do. Hmm? Yeah. You call me lonely, right? We'll see who's lonely. That's the energy. So, you're going to go out there. Catch them voice. Energy! That's my girl. See, you better do something, oh. Hello? 
Hi, Fred. How are you doing? I'm all right. Um, it's a good thing you called because I already have plans on calling you. Really? Why? Do you have something to say to me? It's about my proposal. Why do you keep turning me down? See, Tracy, I genuinely like you and I want us to date. I'm a good man and I'm um, for real. Trust me. Fred, do you ever give up? Um, that's because what I feel for you is strong. Believe me. Um, okay, I will think about it. That's a relief. I'll call you later. Bye. If this isn't about Miley, I don't know why you're calling me. Well, William, I wouldn't have called if it wasn't your child, okay? So what is it? You need to go and do a homework for her. What? Yeah, you had me right. Listen, I'm out with my boyfriend and might arrive on late. Our child needs her homework done and if you don't want her school to start calling you tomorrow, okay? <laughs> I just got back from work and I'm tired. And what's my business with that? Is it wrong for you to do your daughter's homework? Am I the only parent she has or what exactly is the problem here? I do her homework even when I'm exhausted from work all the time. Now that it's your turn to do this little thing, you are complaining. I'm not complaining, it's just... Huh? It's, it's just what? It's your favorite subject, okay? And she's only 35 minutes drive away. You know what? We'll do this online. I would video call her and we'll get it done. Our iPad is broken, William. Go now and stop wasting my time. <coughs> wow. Typical. Rude as always. What you're doing is you're looking for what? X. X. So then you then say X is equal to. Good day, mom. Good day. How's it going? It's going great. Mom was done with my home tax. Um, okay. Dad. Dad, you said we're looking for X, right? Yes, yes, we're looking for X. So, X is equal to? So. Dad, you lost. No, we're looking for... Who is that guy? His mommy's friend. Okay, can you at least attend to my home tax? We're looking for X. X... X. Dad! X is equal to six. Hey. What is it? I miss you, baby. What's, what's, what is it? Babe. Yes? 
We've been together for over two weeks now, and I've not, not done the needful. I don't understand. Are you dating me because of sex? Huh? Fred, stop this. The reason you're spending the night here is because it's too late for you to drive home. Please, don't try that. I just want to spend some time with you. Then you need to sleep. No, I can't. Babe. Don't you touch me! Shiny, no. Ah, uh -uh. I like your bag. <laughs> Thank you, babe. So you didn't miss me? I did, though. I miss you, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> you look good, babe. I'm half. Okay. I'll see you this weekend. Okay. Can I get a kiss? <laughs> Hello. Hi. See you this weekend. Hi. Bye, right, babe. <sighs> Babe, <laughs> you haven't told me why you're dating that guy, to be honest. He doesn't even look like your spec at all. He's not. I know. I'm just testing to see if it's going to work out. <laughs> work out, you say? Don't tell me you're planning on taking that guy serious. Babe, see, he might look a bit handsome, but there's something off about that guy. We'll see about that. Tracy, be honest with yourself. Are you sure you're not doing this to get back at your ex for calling you lonely? You know what? You ask too many questions. Eh? Mm. Don't worry. I know exactly what I'm doing. I hope so. You know I care and I love you. I don't want you to get hurt, my friend. I know. Thank you. Babes. Yes. Get me something to eat. I'm hungry. Go to the kitchen. Huh? Yeah. Is that how you treat your guests? Ah. Who is the guest? Come on, me now. Why are you looking by this side? Yeah, relax there now. Don't go to the kitchen and get something yourself. See, I'm tired. Don't be a bad friend. I'm tired. Anyway, I'll get myself something to eat. Better. See. William, what is it? Do you want to blow up my phone? Good day to you too, Tracy. I've been trying to reach you since yesterday. No, that's because I've been busy with the most important people in my life. So the father of your child is not important? William, you know, I'm sure you didn't call me to ask me stupid questions, right? I'm coming to pick Miley up this weekend. My mom wants to see her. She's around. She wants to spend some time with her granddaughter. Um... My boyfriend and I have an outing with Miley, so I guess your mother have to wait. Tracy, please. My mom wants to see Miley before she returns to the village on Sunday. I can come pick up after school today and bring her back on Saturday afternoon. William, you know what? I'll just ask Miley if she wants to come through, but then again, she has her own work to do. She needs you. I already asked her and she said she would love to. So, um, like I was trying to tell you, I need...
Tracy. Tracy. Tracy! What, William? I've been trying to talk to you since. Can't you see him enjoying a show? Tracy, can you mute this thing and listen to me? Stop talking. Um, the last time I was here, you and your boyfriend or whatever it is, you guys were all over the place in front of my daughter. Did it make sense? I mean, why would you be doing that in front of my daughter? It's wrong. It's all shades of wrong. Wow. William. So you have a problem with my boyfriend and I expressing love for each other? <laughs> huh? I don't care. Oh. No, I don't. I'm just saying that it is wrong to do that in front of my daughter. And hey, you She's a minor. You don't tutor me on how to train my child. I'm not stupid. Okay, man. good. Good. So do the right thing. Oh, see who is talking. William, you and I used to play around Miley. And you never had a problem with that, right? That's different. Totally different from this. Tell me something, William. Are you jealous? What? You're jealous? No. I can see it in your eyes. I'm not jealous. It's obvious. You still want me. I am not jealous, okay? <laughs> I know you very well. You know what? Do whatever you want to do. Hey, Dad. Hey, baby. <gasps> Hi, baby. How are you? I'm doing great. Oh, come sit down. Hi, Dad. No, no, I'm good. I'm not jealous. jealous. I am not jealous. You're jealous. I'm Are you enjoying your meal? Oh, mommy, I love it. Thank you so much. Why won't you? You know I know how to cook very well. Oh, yes, you're the best cook in the whole wide world. Thank you. Hmm, William. Hmm? I think it's time for you to remarry. Hmm? Remarry? Yes, now. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. It's almost a year now. You need to move on with your life. Who says I haven't moved on? I've moved on. I'm just not ready to marry anybody. Ah, uh, ah, uh, my son. You need to give love a chance again in your life. I'm just worried about you. You know, this bachelor life of a thing is not that easy. You need a woman that will take good care of you. Mm. Oh, I forgot. You told me about a lady. Yeah. You don't want me to meet her yet? You meet her when you come back. I will take it things slowly. Okay? Mm. One day at a time. Anyway, it's good to take things slowly because I will not want you to make another mistake again. I don't want to make any mistake myself. That's why I'm taking things slowly one day at a time. That's good. I love that. Mm? Eyes worked. Work is fine. Mommy, you ask too many questions. Eat. <laughs> <laughs> William, I'm expecting a visitor. Yeah. Excuse you? And what do you mean you can't be here right now? Listen, Miley's sick and she needs her father. I will call later. I'm at work. I have a very important meeting in a few minutes. Oh. I see. So your work and meetings are more important than your child's health? Of course not, Tracy. Why are you sounding like this? You know what, William? It's fine. If you do not come right away, I'll just go and tell your child that you do not care. 
and that's on period. Whatever. Jeez, William! Did you forget to knock? This isn't your house. Sorry. What's wrong with Miley? Is she okay? She's in our room. Why didn't you even take her to the hospital? You're here now. I'm so sorry I'm late. I had to squeeze myself out of a very important meeting. How are you? Why did you have to come? What do you mean, why did I have to come? Your mom said you were sick. You were seriously sick. Oh, Wait. she did? Well, I just had a slight headache this morning and she got me some drug. And now I'm perfectly fine. Okay, you can't be serious. So I left my very important meeting for a slight headache. Maybe she was very concerned. Now I understand why she called you. No. Your mom is very dramatic. And she likes to stress me out. Well, maybe you should come live here with us. And that <laughs> way you don't have to keep running here and there. <sighs> no. It why? Can't happen. Why because not? Because we're divorced, baby. Mm, so we can't stay under the same roof. The only thing bringing both of us together is you. Wait. You both decided to get divorced, right? Yes. Then you both can still undo it. Just undo it. Sweetie, when you grow older, you will understand. Okay? Okay, Dad. For now, I'm just happy that you're perfectly okay. Thanks. The headache is gone, right? Yeah. Thank you, Dad. You're welcome, baby. <sighs> Tracy. T. Miley is perfectly okay. Oh. Well, we took care of her while you, our father, was running late. T, listen. Don't call me for something not serious again. Do you hear me? I almost lost a contract. And who cares? Listen, if I have my way, I will never call your number. Use the door. Fred. Yes, babe. Why are you following us? I thought you should be getting ready to go to work. I'm off work today, so I decided to become your personal driver. Ah. That's nice. But I don't need you driving me around. Come on, babe. We're together now. Moreover, myself and Miley have some bonding to do. Um, baby? Yes, Mom? I'll join you in the car, all right? Okay, Mom. Okay. What are you doing? What? You and I are just dating, okay? I do not need you acting like the father of my child, alright? And listen, I told you I wanted us to take this thing slow. 
Stop trying so hard. But babe, I'm not trying so hard. It's been weeks. And I really have a great future for oh, the three please, of us. Oh, please, 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 please. Keep the future for your future, all right? For now, just do as I say. Babe. I can take care of myself and my child. Babe. Just leave. Why are you being harsh? Babe, please wait. You're not serious. How? You're not. <laughs> How? Um, meanwhile, okay. What does this mean when a man is constantly posting a picture of his woman? Like they've been on several dates and I've been watching William. You've been watching him or you've been stalking him? Stop. Stalking is a strong word. Well, I'm sorry. But, you know, wins. If they are dating, what is the big deal about that? Of course, there's a huge difference, okay? We got divorced a few months ago. And you think it's okay for him to just move on with another woman? Listen, it's either he was cheating on me with her or he's trying to get back at me. Think about it. Okay, let's assume they are dating. But there's nothing you can do about it, girl. I'm gonna get the truth from her. What? Yes. Tracy, that's the craziest thing to do. That is insane. I don't care. I don't care. I deserve to know the truth. If they were dating before we got divorced, oh, yes. I think she's the reason we got divorced. Tracy, see, I'm not saying you are wrong, but honestly, you might be. But going after William's girlfriend, that is a total no for me. Because you end up disgracing yourself. You know that. I just want to know the truth. Girl, what is gone is gone. All you have to do is channel your energy on yourself, your daughter, and your happiness. Let it go. What are you talking about? Eh? Mm -hmm. So I should let William just win like that? Hell no. Win? Why are you talking about competition here? The last time I mentioned it, I was like, no, 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 it's not about that. So what is he winning you at? Come on, Tracy. Please, it's okay. Oh, whatever. It's always okay. You're, but I, you're actually in my house, you know that? Uh-huh, I know. Okay. You want to throw me out of your house? Good day, Mr. Fred. Good day, Miley. How are you? Doing great. You really want to be my dad, right? Yes, of course. Then, you're gonna prove it to me that you can be my father. Okay. How do you want me to do that? Well, I'm gonna give you a match to solve. And if you can solve it correctly, then you can be my dad. Okay, shoot. There you go. I'm gonna time you. Okay. I'm gonna go up there so that you won't be distracted. Remember, don't use Google. Don't phone a friend. Take. I guess my time starts now. Good luck. Guy, Alpha, I beg. I need your help right now. I do all seats. I beg, I beg, I beg, I beg. And there's a math equation I'll go send you now. I beg. It's quite urgent. Help me solve them. I believe you die. Thank you, my guy. Oh, 
I don't send you. Bye, right, Sherry. Thanks, bro. Of course. You know, you remind me of a friend mm. who was very confident in solving his equation. But after everything. How do you mean? Never mind. Let's see what you got. Okay. <sighs> a father is someone who solves problems for his child and family. Yes, you're right. I know, but you're wrong. Oh, how? You don't even fit the definition of a father. Just imagine, you can solve simple equation. X is equal to 10 and not 4. You see? That's a long distance miss. You're not even close. So tell me, if you can solve simple maths, then how can you handle my mom? I mean, my mom is a whole lot of equations to solve. Excuse me. My love, are you sure you don't want me to come with you? Hmm? I mean, I know your dad is just taking you for shopping, but I want you to be comfortable. It's okay, mom. I'll be fine. And besides, if you come with me, you both will end up turning the outing into a war front. And I don't want that. Well, maybe you should convince your dad so that it doesn't get to that. And you? I'm not the problem. It's your father. Oh, I see. I think your dad is here. Yeah. Hug, hug. Miss you all. Miss you too. Have fun. Okay. Be a good girl. Okay, mom. Promise. Bye. Hey, princess. How are you, baby? Doing oh. great, Dad. Ready to go? Yeah. Okay. William. Make sure you bring her before 3 p.m. And who is she? That's my girlfriend. Your what? You're taking my daughter for shopping with a mysterious woman. Hell no. I didn't say mysterious. My girlfriend is what I said. Are you kidding me? Dad, let's go. You see, even your daughter is very comfortable with her. So, come that. See you at 3 p.m. Hey, hey, hey. Miley, come. See you at 3 p.m. Where is your gate, man? Can you imagine? Huh? He uploaded a picture of their outing with Miley. And the fool didn't even bother to block me. Oh. It's just pictures, right? 
you know what? <laughs> Two can play the game. I will so deal with William. <laughs> um, you know what? I'll call you back, please. I'm, I'm not just in a good mood right now. Bye. Are you? I'm doing great. Mm -hmm. Are you alright? I don't seem to get this topic right. What's I've been racking my brain. Oh, my baby. Let me see. Um, baby? So, why don't you call your dad to come help you with your homework? He might be busy. No. Don't you ever say that, okay? Now pick up your phone and call your dad to come help you with your homework tomorrow morning. Hmm? He's Good your morning. father. Good girl. Hello, Dad. Hey, sweetheart. How are you doing? Dad, please, can you come tomorrow morning? I need you to assist me with my homework. I don't understand it. Oh dear, I'm sorry about that. I don't think I can make it tomorrow. I have a meeting. It can't be too busy. Tomorrow is Saturday. But Dad, tomorrow is Saturday. I know, I know, baby girl, but I'll be busy. Insist, insist. Dad. You can come before or after the meeting. I need you here, Dad. Please. Fine, fine. I'll try my best to be there. Promise? I promise, sweetheart. I love you, Dad. I love you too. Bye. Bye. Good girl. Now, never you hesitate to call your father when you need him, okay? Okay, Mom. Nice one. He will help you tomorrow so I can close your book and rest. I'll join you later. Okay. Mm -hmm. I love you. Love you tomorrow. <laughs> okay. So I just go freshen up? Yeah. Fred? Hey. What are you doing here? I wanted to surprise you. You wanted... Listen. Next time, make sure you call me first. It's important. This is my house, okay? Alright, fine. I'm sorry. Baby? I know the time we spend together is short, but I really do love you. And I can't wait to spend the rest of my life with you. What are you doing? Will you marry me? What? No! No. But why? I can't! Fred, gosh, listen. This is not what I want for myself right now. I'm not ready. I'm sorry. Hey, please. I want you. You know what? I'm, probably I'm just going through stress right now. I'll just think about it. For now, I'll accept the ring. Okay? Alright. No, I'll just keep it. It's fine. I can wait. Thank you. How was your day? Just help me take off my shoes, please. Okay. You need 
Dankeschön. Ja, schön. Komm in. <laughs> yes, girl. Femi proposed to me yesterday. <laughs> of course. I said yes. Girl, I'm getting married again. <laughs> oh my god, that's why I want you to come today because we're having a party tonight. Yes, yes, yes. Oh my God, the ring is so beautiful and expensive. Of course, girl, it's diamond. <laughs> I'm excited. I'm happy. Like, finally. I know. I know you're happy. And I love him so much. Um, girl, can I call you back? Yeah, I'll text you. I'll text you. Don't forget tonight, okay? The party. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Hi, Tracy. Hi, William. Okay. Miley? Yes, Mom. My love. Yes, Mom. Your dad is here. Oh, my sugar. Look at you. Princess. Good day, Dad. How are you, darling? Good day, How's school? School is great. I see Baby? you have homework. No, I'm just reading. Are you okay? Yes, Mom. Are you sure? Yes, Mom. Okay, it's just fine. Yeah, Tracy is engaged. Engaged to be married, I suppose. <laughs> no, I went to I went to the house and I was trying to help Miley with her homework. That's how I knew. You know what baffles me is that one guy decided to be with Tracy. I pity the guy, yo. <laughs> I pity him. He doesn't know what he has signed up for. He doesn't know. What will Miley do? Miley can't do anything. Tracy gets what Tracy wants. Everybody knows that. No! <laughs> I'm not bothered. I'm not bothered at all. No way. I have a girlfriend, remember? I'm not bothered. I just said, let me give you a gist of what's going on in that girl's life. Mm. <laughs> okay, okay, mommy. I'll, I'll talk to you later. Okay, ma. Bye, man. Bye. Love you. <laughs> Tracy's engaged. Let me go see. I'm sure she has posted something. Yeah. That lady is driving me nuts. Can you believe it? She's just so annoying. Yes, I drop. What's what's happen? The truth is that she's very rich. I'm not gonna lie, very very rich. That's why I can't wait to wife her. When I wife her, then I'll be able to have access to all those funds. Trust your guy now. That's why I don't call us Con Con Bridge. <laughs> of course, now you my guy. I will reason one or two. But, man, she's really giving me a tough time. So, now the action planner, once I'm able to clip her wings, you know, she won't have anything other than, you know, beg, beg for mercy. She'll be at my mercy. Oh, well, we'll see later today, though. We'll meet up at the lounge, yeah. All right, my guy. Take care.
Good. Yeah, bye. Who? Tracy. I'm here. You. He's so beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. I miss you. I miss you too. I'm really sorry about your divorce. I was shocked when I heard the news. Come on. You don't have to be sorry. Okay? It's not your fault. <laughs> it's for the best. It's wrong. Anyways, I'm having a little get together party on Saturday and I really want you to be present. Oh, I'm so sorry. I don't think I can make it. I have work. Please don't say no. I'll be so grateful if you come. Don't think about it. Please do. You know I consider you and your husband... Sorry. You know I consider you and your ex-husband as family. I hope you don't mind because I invited Williams. Um... Is he coming for the party too? Yes, he assured me that he's not going to miss it for anything. Listen, I I will understand if you decline the invitation. And I also understand that if you don't want to be in the same space with your ex-husband. Oh, come on, no. <laughs> come on, you'll be my family friend and... I, of course, I will be there for you. You're my friend, you know. <laughs> and besides, myself and William, we've moved on, so it's nothing. Is that a yes? Of course, I'll be there. I'll be so happy. <laughs> I mean, I have a lot of gist for you. Really? Yes. I beg, I beg, what do I offer you? Good day, Mr. Fred. Hello, Mary. How are you? I'm fine. Well, I've been willing to ask you a question. Of course. Go ahead. Don't you have anything you do for a living other than visiting my mom all the time? Of course I do. Maybe you don't. Because if you do, you won't be here all the time. Miley. And again, why is it that my mom don't visit you? Um, Miley, you know your mom and I, your mom is always busy. Oh, I see. It means you're not always busy. Now it makes sense. Babes, yes. why are you being so picky? You're not the one showing the party. I told you, William will be there. So? So I need to look gorgeous. I need to look good, okay? The last thing I want for that man to think I'm not doing well. Hell no. Wait, why do I have this feelings you're going to this party because of him? You can think anything you want to think, okay? All I know is that I'm attending the same party as my baby daddy. So I need to show up looking perfect. It's not your party. Well, you know I love to steal the spotlight. I want to make Williams drool. <laughs> Babes, yeah. you are so out to get this guy. Uh uh, no, that's not true. He is the one who is out to get me. Mm -hmm. And I know he's going to wear his best clothes because mm -hmm. I'll be there. But guess what? He won't oppress me. I'm going to win him. Hell no. Do you know what? This drama is not ending in time soon and I'm tired of it. Good. For the first time, your head is thinking straight. What do you, what do you mean by this? <laughs> <laughs> oh, what I do need mean? to get something. I don't like all these Take things. Take something though. from no, no, here. No, 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 no. I have something better than this, please. Oh my God, I'm tired.
Hello? I can hear you now. Yeah, it was loud inside there. I'm saying that I sent it to you, but then I'll do another one on Monday. Yeah, you'll get it on Monday. Don't worry, I got it covered. Uh, uh, later, bye. See? I didn't know you were invited. I didn't know you would be here. You look good. Hey. There you are. Yeah. I'm missing you in there. Uh, yeah, I just, I can just take a call. Okay. Let's go back to your party. Sure. Enjoy the party too. Let me call you back, okay? You are William's new girlfriend? Yes, I am. I'm Tracy. I know who you are. Oh. You're his ex-wife. How may I help you? I see he has told you a lot about me. <laughs> you don't want to know what he told me. Well, I want to ask you a question. When did you guys start dating? Believe me, I would have answered your question. But I don't see how that is any of your business. You know, I know your type. You're a home wrecker. And it's obvious you guys were dating before we got divorced. You manipulated my husband, right? I don't know what you're talking about, okay? I met Williams a few months ago. Oh, wow. Now you are talking. You're crazy. Say something new. I've heard that a lot of times. You know what? 
You don't deserve my time. Mm. You're just angry that he dumped your ass. And I feel a little pity for you. But now that you're talking, I can see why he dumped your ass. I mean, which man on this planet Earth who want to be with a bitch like you? You slap I will me! slap you again! You are crazy! You are mad! You are crazy! You are stupid! You are crazy! Look at you! Look at you. Me? Yes! Me? You are crazy! Me? That's why you are bound on That's why you are bound on it! That's why you are bound on it! What is your problem? What is your problem? What is your problem? You are my problem! You are my problem! You are my problem! You are my problem! Behave yourself! What's your problem? What, what's wrong you're with you? You are crazy. You are mad. You are crazy. Let me just leave you. Look at you. Look at you. Don't mind There's that. There's nothing you can do. Listen to me. He's my man now. Okay? Go on there. He's my man now. He belongs to me now. He belongs to me. He belongs to me. He's my man. Okay? He's not coming back. You're not getting his. That's why he dumped your ass. Yes, I'm on it. Um, I'm trying to send the mail to you just now. Hold up. Tracy. I'll call you back. What's the name of that bullshit you pulled last night? Then I'll tell you about into my bedroom just like that. I asked you a question. Are you out of your mind? Is there something wrong with you? Answer my question. I don't know what she told you. But she started it. You're a liar. You know you're lying. She didn't start it. You started it. William, if you're going to be shouting like a madman in my house, I'm going to ask you to get out. Okay, you know what? Listen, I'm going to clear you real quick. I'm going to let this slide because Mary asked me to. But if you ever in your life try this again, if you ever try this again, I'll be respecting you because you're the mother of my child. But you're not being considerate. Williams, what will you do? What would I do? Yeah. What would I do? Don't test me. Whatever. Tracy, don't test me. And I'm warning you for the last time. She's not even your wife yet. Just here shaking. Just get out. I don't blame you, okay? I don't blame you. Nonsense. Rubbish. Get out of my house! Good evening, Miley. How are you doing? Did you tell my mom for coming here? Oh, yes, I called her. But she didn't pick up, so I assume she might be busy. Why? Because she's always scolding you for coming here unannounced. Scolding me? Miley? You see, you need to understand. So, you see, Miley, your mom and I have a special way of professing our love that you won't understand. Love? Aren't you mommy's errand boy? What? Errand boy? Why would you why would you even say that? Because she sends you on errands and orders you around. Miley, are you trying to pull my legs around? No. I'm only expressing myself. All I know is that you come around, then she scolds you, then you consume our food. And you go back, come, and so on. Miley, is that what you think of me now? I feel so bad right now. You don't have to feel bad, Mr. Fred. You know, you're not the only person who doesn't have any life. What? Okay, 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 Miley. Now this is beginning to turn into an insult. No, it's not. Did your mom tell you that we are engaged? Yes. Now listen, I'm not your mom's errand boy. I'm a soon-to-be husband. In other words, Miley, I'm your soon-to-be daddy. Are you hungry? Yes, but that's not the discussion here. Oh, it's true. 
truck. But you look very hungry. I mean, there's food in the kitchen. Oh, there's food? Yeah. Do you want to have some? Yes, I'm really hungry. You see? That's all you do. Consume our food. Mom. Yes, love. There's something I want to talk about. Sure. Go ahead. Dad said he wants me to spend one week in his house. And why is your dad discussing that with you? He has my number. He just wants me to agree, agree to it first before he'll call you. Maybe he will call you today. Oh, I see. So, does that mean you already agreed to go spend a few days with him? He said he's coming to pick me up on Friday. I'll wait for his call. Hope there won't be any problem, because I really want to go, Mom. No, darling. There won't be any problem. Don't worry. Hey, baby. You ready? Let's go. See, what are you doing? If my child is spending one week with you and that lady, I barely know that attacked me at a party, I have to be there to protect my child. Stop. No, you're not going. Oh. No. Fine then. Miley, let's go back in. Mom, no. Can you quit this drama? Miley's going to be fine. I can't risk it. BD. Yeah. Please. That girl is not going to hurt your daughter. I still don't care. For as long as my child is there, I have to be there to protect She doesn't her. even stay with me. I She's still just do not care. Life. Okay, what about work? Well, I took a week off. Mom, you don't have to. Shut up. I invite you to this conversation, okay? What do you know about protection? I'm trying to protect you, my love. Anyway, so William, so what is it going to be like? Hey! Hey, my baby girl! Oh, are you? I'm doing great. Hey, baby. Hello. How are you doing? Are you? I'm fine. Okay. Yeah, I'm good. Mary. Mary. Babe, come on now. Calm down. It's not that deep. Really? But it's not. Really? It's not that deep. Then why did you let her in? She insisted. You know how Tracy can be now? She insisted! Yes! No. This isn't about Tracy. This is about you! Because you accepted her! Oh, come on, if I didn't let her come, Miley will not come. She won't let Miley come. This is crazy. Babe, no. hey, hey, look at me. Look at me. It's okay. She's just here for a few days, probably a week. I am right here, okay? It's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. It's fine. <sighs> this kitchen. 
been so dirty. Hmm? And there's a lady in this house. I expected better from William. Mary. Mary! What, Tracy? I don't want any trouble. I don't have time for you and your trouble. Listen. I came to warn you. Stay away from my child. What? Yes. I see the way you act around her. Hmm? Always acting like you're nice. But I see your heart. I know it's not from your heart, so quit the pretense, okay? I don't have anything against that little girl. At least she's nothing like a mother, from what I see. I can see you've not learned your lesson. Listen, Mary, if you want peace to remain in this house, Stay away from my child. It's a warning. Dirty girl. <sighs> it's beautiful. You like this one? Yep. I already ordered this one for you. With okay. pasta? You want pasta, right? Yeah. Yeah. I added it to the chicken wings you. Come in. Miley. I thought I told you that dinner was ready. I told her not to go. My daughter will not eat anything that lady cooks as long as we're in this house. See, that's a joke, right? <sighs> I'm joking. You're not serious. No, I can't deal with you right now. Whatever. Don't make my daughter stop tonight, you hear me? Mom has already ordered for some food. We're just waiting for the delivery. Oh. You know you can come to Daddy for anything, right? Yeah, I do. Good. So, you're waiting for the delivery, right? Yes, Dad. Okay. Good night. Good night. Mom. Just speech, my friends. Just speech. Don't you like it? I, I mean, I like it, but then, come on, look at it. <laughs> You're just gonna go kill them there. It's sexy for you. You're already sexy enough. I don't want you to look sexy for other people. Miley, come now. Let's go. We are ready. We're coming now. Let's go. Where are you going? <laughs> to the beach, of course. No, 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 no. It's not for you. It's just Smiley, Mary, and myself. Says who? Says me. Well, so you think I'm going to let my daughter out of my sight, especially to spend time with this, this thing? Hmm? What is your problem, Tracy? Huh? You are just bent on inconveniencing me in my own boyfriend's house. Is that the reason why you are here? Oh, but that's because you know your evil plans won't work when I'm around. Tracy, please stop. No one has evil plans for you or your daughter. Come on. Mom, you don't have to protect me from anything. Auntie Mary isn't a bad person. Shut up. Shut up, okay? Listen, because she's acting nice doesn't mean she's nice. She's evil. That's not true. Whatever. William? Are we going to the beach or not? No, you're not going. That's fine. Sugar. 
Your daddy said you're not going anywhere, so we have to go up now and sleep. Really? Yes, really. Let's go. What do you mean, let's go? We can't go without Miley. You obviously have the mother. She's not going with us. No, no, but then this whole thing was about Miley. We can't go without her. Now. So what? So what? It's not making any sense. Where will we be going without Miley? Oh, I see. See what now? So this is it, right? That's... <sighs> Mary, so you too. Tracy, Tracy, Tracy! What is wrong with you, Myra? What did I do? Why were you taking her side? Hey? Listen, I'm your mother. You should support me no matter what, okay? I'm sorry, Mom. Good. But I didn't think you were doing the right thing. And what do you know that is the right thing? Huh? Listen to me. See that young woman there? She's up to no good. I can assure you, she doesn't like us. But Mom, I really want to go to the beach today. Even if it means I have to go with her. Listen, I'm not stopping you from hanging out, okay? Come here. I just want to protect you, okay? I'm your mother. That is what mothers do. They protect their child. Don't want her to do anything bad to my baby. Okay, mm? mom. Don't worry. I will take you to the beach, even if your daddy doesn't want to. Alright? You know I love you so much. Hmm? Mm, don't worry, go to the beach. Don't give me a hug. Love oh, too, my mom. baby. <laughs> I love you. Love you too, mom. Mm. This guy is really good. Wow, that's why I love he, watching this show. His acting is so good. Hi, Dad. Hi, baby. How are you? Fun time is over. Miley wants to watch cartoon. What is the meaning of this? You heard me. <laughs> You're not deaf. T. T, please, I beg you in God's name, don't start. I'm not starting anything, William. Okay? Your daughter came here to have fun and play in her father's house. Right now, she wants to watch cartoon, right? Right. But my favorite show is on. And so? Hmm? Williams, you're not saying anything. What do you want him to say? Oh, so you think he would please you over his own daughter? You're joking. I know this is not about Miley. You just want to annoy me, right? What? Just a child. 
Oh, now you have something to say. I'm watching my favorite show. And this is my boyfriend's house. She calls this. Come on, there are other TVs in the room, please. William? <clears throat> give, it, give, it, give, it, give it to me. Don't, don't you try me. Don't you. Williams, I can't take it anymore. I can't do. Mm, this is the reason why I said avoid this girl. Just avoid her. Are you kidding me? I am trying. This woman is unavoidable. I can't, I can't take her bullshit anymore. She needs to leave this house tonight. Seriously. But you know that's not possible. How is it not possible? Because if she's leaving, she's going to leave you mildly and I don't want that. I don't care what you want anymore. I am human too. I deserve my mental stability. And this is the reason why I'm just saying, leave her alone. Let her do whatever she wants to do. We both know she's crazy, right? So why would you want to get into a fight with her? Come on. If she doesn't leave, I will. Really? Yes, really. You want to give in? You want to give in? Come on, boy. You know that that's what she wants. Come on. It's just a few days. Let her stay. Do it for me. Do it for Miley. You like the girl, don't you? It's okay. It's just a few days. Come, come, come. Just relax. Miley? Yes, Mom. What are you doing? I'm packing my things. We're supposed to leave by tomorrow. Remember? We are? Mom! Tomorrow is Sunday. Oh. Yeah, I... I forgot, so I guess I have to pack my things too. I see. Maybe you're enjoying your stay here after all. Who? You. Me? Hell no. In fact, I hate it here. I can't just wait to go back home. I'm tired. Then you've been more eager to go than I am. I forgot, okay? It's normal. Mm? Okay. Yes, baby. Miley? Yes, Mom? Um, you know, if you still want to spend some days with your dad, I... I really don't mind. It's fine. Nah. I'm already tired. I want to go. Okay. Or, do you want to stay? Me? No, I told you I don't like it here. I'm tired. I just want to go home. Fine. Then we're leaving tomorrow. Right? Yeah. Okay. Go pack your things. <sighs> okay.
Tracy. Tracy. Fred. Please. I don't have to explain myself to you. Yes, you do. Oh. I'm your boyfriend and I deserve some respect from you. Where, where on earth have you been this past few days? I took my daughter on a vacation. And that is all I have to say to you. But you couldn't return any of my calls, nor my text messages. Why? I was occupied. Oh yeah, I figured. You were in bed with another man, right? I beg your pardon? What did you just say? Yeah, you heard me right. You know what? I'm not doing this with you. We're not done yet. I'm done. <sighs> Guy, I swear, I don't tire. If you say I get agenda, I for don't want Percy Peking. I did tell you. This baby is just so annoying and stubborn. Can you just imagine? All those ones are lying. You know, say the guy said, I mean, I said a fresh boy. I'm sure you get it. So she they feel the guy. So I did assume say she can't do without me. So you know what they happen now? We say, I just want to make her follow her small, 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 small. So once the plan, once she don't agree to marry me like this, you know, I begin to execute my plan. Forget that. You know, say so this girl, a big girl, she get money, she get money, die. I'm not gonna lie you. Man, as things be now right now, I know if you come out here and I uh, met her on the way to work now. So I'll still be here till next week, huh? Mm, more reason now. If he if he link up later today now, or maybe later the week. Hmm? Take care, my G now. Take care. Alright, bye. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> Girl, you're such a drama queen. Uh -huh. So what happened? Tell me what happened later. Of course, we all went to the beach. Four of us. Are you serious? <laughs> tell me it's a lie. Uh -huh. My dear, you know William doesn't joke with his child. So... <laughs> I can imagine the look on the girlfriend's oh, face girl. at the beach. If anger was a person. <laughs> You needed to have seen her ugly face. <laughs> Can you mind it? I don't know. I don't know what she was even thinking. Mm -hmm. That's my baby daddy. Come on. You know you're taking this to your own advantage. You know oh. you're doing it. Can yeah. the both of you just lower your voices, please? I'm trying to take a nap. Huh? Ah. Uh, Fred, I thought uh. you were getting ready to leave. Well, I changed my mind. You. Don't you know how to greet? Hello. Are you talking to me? If you greet me, your mouth shift to the back. You know what? I've always known that you're the one giving her bad advice about me. Right? Right, no? What's all this? Eh? Babe, I wasn't talking to you. And I'm talking to you. You don't have the right to talk to my friend in that manner. Me? Are you gonna disrespect me in the presence of your friend? Mm -hmm. Fred, you know what? Please. It's okay. Stop it. Babe, you know what? I used to think that you have sense. Mm -hmm. Well, if you can take advice from someone like this, then it means you are stupid and shallow as she is. Huh? Babe, did you just slap me? I will slap you! Get out! Get out of my house this minute! I won't ever see you yes. in my house again! Don't you touch me! Get out! She my house! Get out! Get out! She said out! Get out! I don't want to ever see you near this place again! Get out! Get out! Get lost! Get out of my house! Baby. Hi. I came as fast as I could. How are you feeling? My body is 
is hot and cold at the same time. Uh -oh. My head is banging. So sorry. Okay, no, let's take you to the hospital. Um, no. That won't be necessary. I already gave her some drugs. So, let's wait till tomorrow, right, baby? Yes, Dad. Are you sure? Yes, Dad. I just want this for you to stay here with me. At least till I get better. You can go to work from here. Ah, baby, I don't even have any clothes that I can wear. You can go home later and pick some. I want you here, Dad, please. <sighs> Clearly you're giving this some thoughts, okay? Um, I'll stay. Thanks, Dad. <laughs> I'm really happy now. <laughs> Have you eaten? Yes, Dad. <sighs> your lunch maybe lunch well it's your favorite so please sit I miss the cooking. That's <laughs> okay. I'm sure, you need some water. Baby? Yeah? Move in for me. Dad? Hmm? Are you sleeping here tonight? Yeah, do you want me to sleep in the living room or the couch? No? Why don't you sleep in mommy's room? <laughs> so that she will kill me in my sleep? No. She can't do that. I'm not going to risk it. What if I wake up when I'm dead? But her bed is more bigger. As you can see, this one is small. Baby, it's am dark. I inconvenience you? I can sleep on the floor if you want me to. No, that's not it. Good, so let me stay here. Hmm? Please, move, move. Thank you. You know your mom is a tiger. No, she isn't. <laughs> she is. And you should go to bed. What are you doing? She won't finish this game. I love you, baby. Love you too. Good night. Ah. <sighs> 
Hey, princess. How are you? So, Dad, <sighs> how is it? It was such a good run. <laughs> Aha, I even exceeded my limit today. Really? Yeah. Okay. <sighs> princess. Yes, Dad. Now that you feel better, I should go. What's wrong? I think I feel sick. You feel sick? Yes, Dad. Take me to my room. Okay, okay, okay. When did this one start again? Go, let's go. Are you okay? Yes, Dad. Okay, come, let's go to your room. Let's go. Have you eaten? Yeah. Sorry. Things never change. Hmm? You still work really hard. I know. You know you came and you look really exhausted. You haven't even changed. You can continue tomorrow, you know, right? No. I have to finish this by all means. I'm behind schedule. Don't worry. Once I'm done, I'll have my shower. Rest. Serious stuff. Anyways, I got you this. I mean, since you're working late, so coffee helps. That's so kind of you. Thank you. Smells really nice. I still remember the kind of coffees you like. Thank you. You're welcome. you something. Sure. Mom, why are you going to apologize to dad? I mean, everything is just taking time. And this is not what we planned for. I know. I'm just trying to make him comfortable with me first. But you know we can keep him here for months. We need to find something before he knows that we're just pretending and pretending to be sick. We need to do something fast. Yeah, my love. I have to take things slow 
so that he doesn't think I have bad intentions. I just pray he forgives you and you both come back together. Because I can't wait for all these things to be over. My love. I know. But I'm just going to ask him for forgiveness for everything I did. But for coming back together, I'm not sure. Because he's in a relationship with Mary. And I do not want to be selfish. But mom, he's your husband first. Lady Mary should look for another man. Oh, yeah. Things don't work like that, my love. No, you don't understand. I just want us to be a big, happy family again. I can't wait. Yes, I know, my love. Me too. I want us to be a big family again, but I can't force anything. I just want to be a better person. Mom. Yes. You're a good person already. You don't have to say that. <laughs> oh, my baby. Come here. Thank you so much. I love you, Mom. I love you more. You're now a big girl, right? Thank you. Let me let me don't help you. You're me. almost losing now. Don't teach me. Oh god. I'm better at this game than you know that, right? Okay. Hey, Mary. Get your Mary. hands off me. Get your hands. Mary. What is it? What, what, get your hands off me. What are you doing? No, what do you think you're doing now? So this is it, huh? This is what? This is how you plan to end our relationship. <sighs> Mary. You know what? Let's talk outside, please. Get, get, get your hands off Let's me. talk outside. Let's talk outside, please. Let's go off my hand, Joe. Mary, what do you think you're doing? Huh? What do you think you're doing? Huh? I should be asking you that question. What's going on? I explained to you over the phone already now. That's not enough reason for you to be living with your baby mama. It's only for a few days. And you think that few days nothing is going to happen? Do I look like a joke to you? How stupid do you think I am? You're overreacting. Overreacting, yes. Overreacting, yes. You know what? Go in there, pack your things, and let's go. What? You heard me right. It's either that, or I will leave, and you will never see me again. Mary, really? You want me to choose between you and my daughter? No. This is you choosing between me or Tracy. It's not about Miley. It's about Tracy. You love her, don't you? What are you saying? Oh, God. I should have known. I should have known the connection between you and Tracy. Mm. I just choose not to believe this. I played a fool. You know what, Williams? It's over. Mary, come on. <laughs> Mary. Come in. Hey. Hey. Uh, 
I just, I just left Miley's room. She's asleep now. I just thought I should check on you before I go to bed. Thank you. Good night. Williams. Uh, sorry if I may ask. Is everything okay between you and Mary? Can I see? Sure. No. She, uh, she broke up with me. Just like that? Yeah. Just like that. I mean, I knew it was never gonna work, so... I'm sorry. Are you really sorry? Honestly? No. Hey. Anyhow. I know I've been a bad wife to you. You don't deserve my crazy behavior. I want my husband back. And I... I want to be cool with your family. I need you by my side. I want to be a better person for you. To make it easier because you are the only man that know and love me more. I can think of any other person. T, you should forgive me. I never should have divorced you. It was the worst decision I took. I should be more patient with you. I mean, it's it's fine. Now I I know your worth and what I need to work on. I'm sorry. At least now I know I can never love another woman the way I love you. Are you sure? Am I sure? Tell me. Were you jealous? Don't lie. No, I like... No, I know you. You were. Okay, maybe a little bit. Lies. Yeah, I was jealous. Okay, but then... <laughs> I know. So did you guys? Oh, please. Nothing happened. <sighs> Go away, you. I'm leaving with a lady. Do you really think that girl? But something happened. No. Yeah. You, you know what I like. You know what I want. What? I love you. How much? This much. Let me see. Let me see. <laughs> oh, stop. Sweetie. You boy are still alive? <laughs> you know when I saw you both together? Come here. I told maybe you both might have fucked to death. Really? <laughs> Why would you say that? It's not to you. Because I'm used to the fact that you both are always fighting. Okay, sweetie. You need to chill. You need to fix that. Okay? Seriously? Yes. We promise. 
you brought her back together? Yes. Yes! <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Oh my god, I can't breathe. You were fine. No, 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 no. Oh my gosh. Oh. 